Ever wonder what it's like to live in a different city? Three people in different neighborhoods invite us into their homes and give us a glimpse of what it's like to live in Hong Kong. We're back with another round of Apartments Around the World. First up, Sain Poon. Hello, I'm Sarah. I'm Pippi. We live in a neighborhood called Sain Poon in Hong Kong Island. And Sain Poon is one of the oldest areas in Hong Kong. But recently, there's been a boom of modern cafes and cool shops. Sain Poon also has a really good mix of like local and like, Western culture. So in that sense, you can find a lot of things from both ends of the culture, whether it's like Western food or like local cuisine. <laughs> As you can see, it's quite compact, but me and Pippin both wanted a double-sized bed. So even though it eats up quite a lot of space, we work our way around it. Like for example, we use underneath the bed as storage, like my winter clothes or unused items. And we both don't have a wardrobe, so we got ourselves a clothing rack. For my bags, I keep them right behind my door. And this is my room. The same layout as Sarah's. And as you can see, we also have a ledge here. It's quite a Hong Kong thing because it makes your room look bigger. But the best part, I think, is the views. So if we take a closer look, one side of it is the rest of our neighborhood, which is all just high-rise buildings. And on the other side, we can see an overview of a park and Kowloon. And the night view is also pretty great. This is our kitchen. Very compact, that has everything we need. Amazing storage spaces here, both underneath this lake and above. So even above, to reach there, I have my handy dandy stool. A lot of storage space. But you'll notice that the most have one empty because you know your girl, you can't reach that high. You'll see that we also have a fire stove. Most Hong Kong houses have induction stoves, but it's also great that we have fire one in this house. Fridge, oven, washing machine. So this is only a washing machine, no dryer included. So we can also dry our clothes outside there, even though we are more than 26 floors above the ground. So here we have our bathroom. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of storage spaces, so we like to buy these containers where we can stick on the wall to keep all our toiletries. And everything is within arm's reach. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tour of our house and hopefully you gained some insight into what it's like living in here in Hong Kong. <laughs> Our next apartment is also in the neighborhood of Sain Poon. Hello internet, my name is Vic. Today I'm going to show you my apartment in Hong Kong. Welcome to my humble house. So the living room is the first thing you'll see after the door is open. That's our two dogs, Sudi and Adi. The living room is connected to the dining area slash kitchen. It's not the biggest space here, but big enough for us to host at least six people at the same time. The only thing I have to complain about is the induction stove. I personally prefer cooking with real fire. However, what made up for it is, ta-da, the dishwasher. Surprisingly, dishwasher is very rare. Next to the kitchen is our workspace slash storage. Hong Kong is not the cheapest place to live in. My boyfriend and I together pay 30k Hong Kong dollar for this one bedroom apartment. This is our shower space. Not big, but big enough for two people, his and my stuff. Stuff. Decent space for showering where you can open up your arms and shower. That is actually very rare in Hong Kong. Next to the shower is our bedroom. Big enough to fit a king size bed, which is important because the doggies like to snuggle up with us most of the time. And then a small mini walk in closet for my stuff. Oh, and I almost forgot about my favorite part. <laughs> this is our rooftop. So once you push through the jungle, this leads you to where we actually hang out the most at the moment, 
Winter in Hong Kong is almost too beautiful, so we oftentimes bring our dinner up here. We have a hammock for us to rest in. The coolest thing about this flat is that almost everyone next to us is higher than us. So it kind of makes us feel like we are on an island disconnecting from everything else. And that's it! Thank you for joining me! Hit me up on Instagram if you would like to do some yoga with me. Bye bye! Now we head north to Olympic Station. Oh, hi, hi everyone from BuzzFeed. My name is Hawkin and I live in Hong Kong. The neighborhood that I live in is Taolun side of Hong Kong. It's called the Olympic Station. For people who've never been in Hong Kong, I would explain this place with being very, very crowded with a very high population density. There's a very high diversity uh, of people. So you can see people from every country in, in Hong Kong. <laughs> So um, welcome to our uh, my house, my home. This is the area we usually relax and chillax um, at the end of the day. On the left here, this is our um, kitchen. So as you can see, we have June, our helper here, helping us cook dinner. Uh, this is what a standard kitchen would look like in Hong Kong. This is what our dinner looks like. We don't usually have this many dishes every day. So on our right here, this is our first bedroom, also used as a guest room and a study room. Uh, on our left here, this is our, this is our washroom. Uh, nothing really special about the washroom. So moving forward to my own bedroom. So this is my own bedroom. Um, uh, not very big. There is space for a single bed as well as a wardrobe. These beds are usually made up of um, in terms with wardrobes. So when you open it, usually you can store like your clothes, your underwear, etc., etc., under the bed. This is something that's pretty standard in Hong Kong, actually. Like a pretty big area space beside the bed, beside the window. And something special that a lot of Hong Kong people would have is his water filtration system. So this little fellow here would help you filter out the water and come out with cleaner water right here instead of using the tap like this. The reason for this is because, uh, well, Hong Kong water isn't exactly the cleanest water. So uh, moving forward towards the master bedroom, there's a queen size bed here, a little makeup area for my mother, as well as a working station for her when she has to work from home. Uh, more importantly, there is a massive wardrobe here. This is probably one of the bigger rooms you can find in Hong Kong. And the best part about this room is that the um, this view over here. This is the Victoria Horror View. And I'm um, just gonna leave it here for everyone to appreciate it. 